Okay, good evening YouTubers. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 007 Nightfire level. Now, what we need to use is first we need to get the game, which we go over here to choose either one you want, you know. So I'll pick Inner Explorer and we'll go to Google. Now, to get the game, no rules. I can spell it here, right? Let's see here. Actually, I'll just click on this. I have it already saved. Now, this should be shortly here. There we go. Now, the no rules um, site. And then you go to, if it pops up here, downloads. Oh, come on. And then if you go to downloads, here's the game. You just click click here to download the game. Just for brief, just telling you where to get it. So once you have the game, then we go back to Google, and we'll type in NFBSP, and the site should come up here. We go to this site here. Wait for the page to load and then go to downloads and then we look for we have nfbsb client which is good too now what we want to look for is nightfire editor suite that's one of the unprograms but that's a, basically a package that you want to download and it downloads all this software editing stuff for gearcraft for level making you also want to download the the first one here too it's good that way you get both hammer and gearcraft and it also has the weight just in case if you want to use hammer but I prefer gearcraft because it's more updated so once you have all this and you've downloaded the two links here here and here we exit out then we go where it's saved now usually where I've saved mine is a little different location but it should be in downloads which is back here um, go to gear there NF and it should look like this here NF um, what is it NF suite here you want to once these are open you want to install them here and so I'll go you through Let's go through one. Um, let's see here. Actually, I already have that one. I reinstalled. So, let's see here. The other way I can probably show you here is go to computer here, and it sh it should make a folder here. NF editors. You want to go to that, and then Gearcraft is right here and that's maps so we want to go to tools and here's all the tools that the package gives you we have the GC configure which is really important for textures if you if we like we click on this and this brings up this thing the installation shows you where the night fire is installed and that's kind of important there you click next and it should go here and then we have configuring gearcraft and then it asks you for decompiling the assets folder which is needed that way we can understand what the um, models are and everything so you basically just click next and then it will install for you now um, we'll just close out of this because I already have installed so once you have the whole thing installed the, the packages and everything which I showed you on the links, then you open up Gearcraft, which I already have here. So, once Gearcraft is installed, and you it opens here, and you see the textures here. Sometimes, if you don't install it right, it's black, and that basically means you can't put textures on the walls. So, first, what we'll do, we'll go to File, New. Then we bring our cursor over here. 
and we go over here to the block here, the gray block, which is called block tool. And we highlight across the grid here. Now, as you can see here, there's three different grids here. And this right here is a camera, you know, for viewing your work. So you look over here, this one is viewing on the top, like you're on the top of the level and looking down. This is on the side, and this is in the front. See what happens when I move it? The other ones will move too. So, what we want to do is drag the box that we've created here and make sure it's inside. As you can see here, there's this line across up and down. You want to make it in the middle there because that's where one of the things here is. This thing. This is the middle of the map. You practically want this thing inside your box. So, we'll go back to the tool here and we push right click and create object now next what we do is let's make it a little bigger here that way we can understand what we're doing here it's a little bigger and as you can see here we'll make it a giant square here there now once you made your square and you it's pretty big here and if you want it bigger you can do that so let's do that there so it's big so the next thing you do right click go down to copy then go back down to paste exact if you do paste it just pastes to wherever the camera is and stuff if you do paste exact it picks it pastes it right where I copied it from makes it much easier. So now what we'll do is we'll try to create a box and this is good for optimizing. You never want to create a box and do hollow because that's just no carving, it's bad. And drag that there. And as you can see we just made a wall here. We do it again. Paste exact. Move the wall over here do it again and move the wall up now here's the tricky part what you want to do is scroll in and you want to make sure these two blocks do not touch each other no touchy no touchy there you want it like that so go over to this side again and bring that in and repeat the process here scroll it down Oops, made it a little too thin. There we go. And drag it in. And drag it in. There, we have a, a box now. Or not mostly a box, but mostly the sides of it. We still have to do the top. So, what we do, we drag our cursor down here. And into this box here, right click, copy, then paste. Oh, oops, I made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I can do it this way too. So, we move the scroll up one bar there, move this guy up here, and then we drag this puppy across where it lines up with the other blocks here. Just like that. And then we want to make sure this guy's not touching it either. There. Now we have the cover of our box. Now we need to make the bottom. Now, actually, one thing we could do is easier is hold shift on your keyboard and then drag it down, which copies it, and then boom, you got that there. Now, actually, to make it a little bit better, we move it inwards so it's flat. Click that and move it in. There we go. And there you go. You have the room here. And what we can do, go to the 3D camera and we can look in our room. Now basically right now, 
we need to add the textures or the compiler will have problems and stuff. So let's go to, now that we made our thing, uh, what I usually like to do is we can either group it here, select all of these, and then we see viz groups here, we just right click, go to properties, and then we can edit groups here. That way you can, you know, um, pick it whenever you want and don't have to worry about everything else selecting at once. So do new group and we'll just call it sky box. There we go. And close. Click that and now it's in the group. So every time you like click on here to edit a wall or something, and you want to make this place big,